Hey folks, Dakota Guy here. Covering a uh, question one of uh, my viewers had, uh, True Menfa was uh, having a little difficulty working with the uh, wind turbines uh, from uh, the mechanism generators uh, to work with the uh, Tesseracts. Now, I tried to duplicate his issues, and I first off, a couple things I did, and I wanted to show everybody so that you can kind of troubleshoot your own systems. Not all mods are made by the same people, as you well know, and so sometimes they use different energy. So the first thing I wanted to test was uh, what energy uh, that we were using. Now, if you look at uh, the windmill, it'll tell you that it uses RF uh, when you uh, come to it. Let me uh, come here. If I hold down Shift, uh, see how it tells me stored energy is RF? So I knew it was using RF energy. So I wanted to make sure it was going to be compatible with my thermal expansion. He had a single hardened uh, pipe energy conduit uh, between his uh, windmill and uh, his uh, test rack first. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, so what I did is I hooked those straight up, made sure energy was coming in. Uh, wind turbines are a little slow, so give it time uh, to sh start showing up. Don't forget on your configurations, blue is your input, orange is output. So change your face accordingly, you know, so I had blue coming in. Now this one is the Elite Energy Cube uh, from Mechanism. Now typically from the same mods, uh, they tend to work uh, very, very, uh, you know, compatible, obviously. You'll notice though I did keep the hardened energy conduit from thermal expansion in between because I wanted to make sure uh, that wasn't going to be an issue, just the conduit itself. Uh, so those two tested out okay. All right, so the next thing I did was I came over and I... Uh, I put down the uh, the conduit and the tesseract. Uh, now you'll notice that uh, with these, uh, you can't switch uh, the input outputs because it's a single, uh, also because it's on the tesseract. Don't worry about that. Uh, the devices will know. This knows it's sending out, and this knows it's receiving. Uh, and so what I did here is, uh, he was using frequency one, he's at the none, no big deal. Uh, so we've got that going. Now over here on the configuration, instead of trying to set it to like send only or receive only go ahead and just set them all to send and receive at the same time that way we don't have to worry about accidentally maybe hitting the wrong switch uh, or that you know we have the energy going something of that nature we can always come back and customize it once we know we're working so we're on this end we're also sending and receiving from this end same frequency one uh, the name is just that just the name make sure when you pick uh, a frequency you click it, choose the set, the green, to uh, set it. You'll note it's set because, you know, it's got the uh, the green the green name on it. So then I hooked a, uh, again, a single conduit uh, to a device and then also to a uh, energy cell so that, one, I could see if that was filling up my RF energy here. And then we came over here and also same thing here. If I mouse over it, I can see my numbers are coming. Uh, now, initially when I did this, I was trying to send and receive, and I think I had them flipped. That can mess with you somewhat. Also, uh, Trumenfa, you've got a, a switch uh, right here in this location, uh, and you have something coming up. Well, it was more kind of like here, where you had two things coming off, power going in, power coming out. You had a switch right here. That might also be uh, messing with you somewhat. Uh, so I would go ahead and eliminate the switches. And test it. You know, first off, uh, make sure you got energy coming out, that there's no problems with the turbine. Make sure you've got energy going into a like an energy cell. Uh, and then try swapping that out with a tesseract. And then make sure, you know, you can get energy coming across the tesseract. Uh, you know, ensure that there's no glitches going there. And that you got energy coming in. Uh, also, um, I was just going to say, don't forget with the... Uh, the redstone you don't need that switch because you can adjust it here you can ignore uh, the switch if you need the switch or want to keep the switch for some reason you can have it low so that no red zone signal means it works and then high where it has to have a signal in order to work I typically just leave it low and don't even worry about it uh, but don't forget to check those items as well so that's how I would run about uh, testing to see if the systems work and going from there, he uh, 
was transferring him from uh, a couple different worlds and whatnot, and that should not affect. Uh, but, you know, glitches can happen and do happen, and this is how I would test. All right, guys, thanks for indulging and uh, hanging in there. And True Mempha, I hope this solves your issues. Let me know if uh, you still got uh, questions. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.